All right, so the topic I want to discuss today is ulcerative colitis versus Crohn's disease. And for some reason, a lot of students mix this up. And I came up with a method, especially with extra intestinal complications, that you could never forget. It's a patent method, Dr. J's patent method. So I don't want to see this in first aid or any of the books, um, but it's going to work every time, okay? First thing is first, as you guys all know, clinically they present quite differently. Now, clinically, ulcerative colitis is going to present with a left-sided abdominal cramping. So it's a crampy type of pain. Well, Crohn's disease is going to present with a right lower quadrant colicky type of pain. That's clinically, okay? And I like to look at that because we know both of them can come in with diarrhea and rectal bleeding because Crohn's disease can affect anywhere from the mouth all the way down to the anus. And if it has colon involvement, Crohn's disease is also going to present with bleeding. Although Crohn's disease is usually only associated with diarrhea, while well, ulcerative colitis is associated with diarrhea and rectal bleeding. Both of them can present with diarrhea and bleeding. So this is the first thing I want you to remember. Ulcerative colitis is going to primarily involve the rectum. While Crohn's disease, most of the time, it's going to be the terminal ileum. What do we know about the terminal ileum? What does the terminal ileum absorb? Intrinsic factor, right? And B12. So these patients are going to get B12 deficiencies. So that's your vitamin deficiency you're going to see associated with this. But the main thing I want you guys to remember is the gross features and the complications. And I'm going to make it very simple for you. Ulcerative colitis has how many words? Two words. Crohn's disease has how many words? One word. Okay, so when I'm talking about the gross features and, and I ask you whether it's ulcerative colitis or Crohn's, think about it for a second and tell me which one it is. Which of the following has pseudopolyps? which has two words, ulcerative colitis, right? Pseudopolyps. I think you got it already. You guys are right. Which of the following has sclerosing poly, uh, pericholangitis as a complication? How many words is that? Sclerosing pericholangitis. Cholangitis. Which of the following has fistulas associated with it? Which of the following has stones associated with it? renal stones, etc. Which of the following has lymphocytes? When you look at it microscopically. Which one is transmural? Which one is going to give you crypt abscesses microscopically? Which one is associated with HLA B27? Two words, right? or ankylosing spondylitis, which is also two words. Which one is associated with pyoderma gangrenosum? Which one is going to involve um, granulomas? Only one of these has an obstruction. The other doesn't. This is the one with the obstruction. This is important to know. Okay, this is very important to know. It's important to know that ulcerative colitis has no obstruction and Crohn's disease does have an obstruction and the obstruction is in the area of the terminal ileum. Okay, and that's why they get the um, B12 deficiency. Which of the following is going to have strictures? See how beautiful this is? Have you ever heard this before after all these years of medicine? Uh, which one of the following... What else? Do I have anything else? Is going to be associated with adenocarcinoma. Which one is going to be associated with a toxic megacolon? So these are diagnostic features. 
And what I want you to remember is two words versus one word. And you're going to be able to see most of the gross features, the microscopic features, as well as the complications. So if you want to remember the difference between ulcerative colitis, what's my advice to you? First, don't say that only ulcerative colitis has bleeding. Because if Crohn's disease has colonic involvement, it can also have bleeding. So think if a patient has the bleeding and the diarrhea, look for left-sided abdominal crampy pain versus right lower quadrant colicky pain. If you can't figure it out from there, and it's still vague to you, look at two words versus one word. And you're going to get the question right every time, okay? You got to know that ulcerative colitis primarily involves the mucosa and submucosa, as you can see, two words. And Crohn's, as we said, is one word, which is transmural. Ulcerative colitis is not going to have skip lesions, okay? So here's pretty much ulcerative colitis versus Crohn's disease in a nutshell. And I think this is pretty much going to get you every answer they can, every question they can throw at you. Um, if you if you find anything else, you know, feel free to drop me a message. And there's going to be more videos to follow. Okay, um, stay tuned. www.usalgorithm sorry www.usmlealgorithms.com. Right now, um, there's only step two and three videos that I posted up there, but soon I'm gonna post step one videos as well. All right, enjoy.